So what is going on guys, it's Brandon here. And it's Jamie here. And today, we're going to be giving you the most underrated Mario Kart track of all time. Yep, and what is that track, Brandon? This track is Wario's Goldmine from Mario Kart Wii. You look back at Mario Kart Wii, and you remember how many amazing tracks there are. Moving Meadows, Mushroom Gorge, uh, Koopa Cape, Toad's Factory, Coconut Mall, DK Summit, Move You Highway, Dry Dry Ruins, The Rainbow Road and Bowser Castle on that game are two of the best ever. Hell, Grumble Volcano, but there's one track that nobody ever talks about, and that's Wario's Goldmine. Yeah, this track is not talked about because it's hated. It's hated for being difficult. This track doesn't feel like a Flower Cup track. It feels like a Star Cup track. Like, honestly, this could seriously swap places with Cooper Cape. And honestly, we would not feel any different. Yeah, right? it's, my, it's my belief that this is the third nipple of the Flower Cup. Now, this track does so much right. Firstly, the difficulty. It's such a... it's a pro! If you look at Mario Kart 8, all of it feels mostly easy now. There's not a lot of tracks that feel hard, but... Where's Goldmine just does? The mm. rail cars, the tight turns, the, like, amount of... like, the lack of railings, like, when you go off that jump uh, towards the minecart section. Just the fact... how many times have you fell off there? Like, it even, it kind of feels like a precursor to this game's Rainbow Road. It does. Uh, it, like, where the minecarts go, we have a shortcut. Just that, mm. that shortcut might be one of the hardest in the game, to just try and get around the minecarts and take that. Mm. It's such a hard track, but that's why I love it. And another thing about this track that makes it unique and cool, it has an ultra shortcut. It, it does. It has the pipe bounce. The pipe bounce is one of the most revered ultra shortcuts that happened on this track. And we haven't even yeah. gotten into the visuals. Like, this this track is so unique in its setting. We haven't had anything like it. Yeah, we've never had, like... Uh, it's it's a mine, obviously. But we've never had, like, a sort of cliffside town that is responsible for the upkeep of this mine. And there's just something about driving along the rail cars. Right? It's just a sense of panic. Yeah, it's chaos. It's chaos, and I love it. Now, we can address some flaws, okay? The uh, parts where you dip down and up can be a little bit glitchy at times. Yeah, it's a bit disorienting the, as well. The gravity for that can be a bit annoying. Mm. And the bats as well, fuck the bats. Oh yeah, fuck the bats. On both games, actually. It is, but it's an overwhelmingly good course that just gets mm. overshadowed by every other course in the game. But it, like, nobody ever says, Mike, what's your favourite uh, track from Mario Kart Wii? Oh, it's Goldmine. Oh. Wario's Goldmine. Yeah, no, it just isn't that. Is it, and we haven't even talked about the music. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, the music, like, wow. even even the music is like, it gets you pumped. It gives you that sense of, oh shit, I'm in danger. Now, one thing we will say that doesn't help this track's case is the remake in Mario Kart 8. Now, this remake is not very good. No, like, when they added the DLC cups in the base version of Mario Kart 8. Uh, Wario's Goldmine was one of the tracks, and that was amazing, right? We got another Wii track. Awesome. But it's been, like, it's effectively been neutered. It has. Like, it's way too easy. That's and a that shortcut where... doesn't even save anything. Yeah, it's quicker to just go the normal way. There's no risk-reward anymore. And crash into yeah. a goal, and crashing into one of the uh, carts now just gives you a speed boost instead of hitting you. Yeah. Like, the track... It doesn't feel hard anymore, the angles are less sharp. It doesn't really feel like Goldmine anymore. Yeah, I mean, the entire lead up to the big ramp that leads to the rail cart section, all of that is different. Just because it's on the just because it's up a wall doesn't mean it's anywhere near the same. It just doesn't feel like Goldmine anymore. Yeah, and it doesn't help the original track's case, but that's just our little thought. We believe that Whereas Goldmine is the most underrated track in Mario Kart history. Definitely. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Um, if you did enjoy the video, why not drop a like rating down below. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And uh, tell us what you think about our pick for the most underrated Mario Kart track of all time. But we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys. See you, guys.